Well, hello again everyone, and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Black Mesa. This time after having had a beer with dinner, so we're going to find out if that um, makes me relaxed and therefore smoother and generally able to play better, or whether I'll just spray and not be able to hit anything at all. It'll be fun finding out anyway. Ooh, what? Yee! Or whether it just ends up with me getting a barrel to the face, that's also possible. Come on, I've got some explosives somewhere. There we go. Like that one. <laughs> okay, we've got our answer already. It makes my aim significantly worse. <laughs> oh dear. I don't use those satchel charges very much. That range I can't really miss. Where is he? There he is. Ooh. Can I come closer? Yes. Oh! <coughs> wow! Okay, that, that was significantly more violent than I was expecting. Let's try that again with a bit less fail, shall we? I wonder if I can pop them with the... Um, the old crossbow. Let's give that a shot. I haven't used it very much yet. I don't have a crosshair though. Why do I not have a crosshair? Is that just a rendering issue? Because I'm not going to be able to aim with this. I've got one when I zoom out, but not when I zoom in. What kind of sniper weapon doesn't have a crosshair when you zoom in? Come on, a bit closer. Now the big problem with the Vorticons I've found, I think I, I touched on this in the last episode, is that when you start peppering them with the... They're, they're reasonably tough, so it takes a good few shots to take them down. But when you start peppering them with the, um, the machine gun, it doesn't really seem to distract them very much. So while you're attempting to put enough damage down to, to finish them off, they're still able to carry on attacking. Wow. That one is doing a lot of damage. Oh, I'm on 10% health from the last episode. That's why. Okay, I need to start playing a bit more carefully, I guess. Um, have that. Are they close enough yet? Just about. Well, one of them was. Right. <clears throat> now that I've remembered I'm on almost no health, Let's start playing slightly more carefully. So I come along here. One spawns in like that. That one's easy. One spawns in further down like that. That's much harder. Where's the corner? Where's the corner? Where's the corner? Oh, come on. I hope that's the lot. Uh, I'll keep this one out, I think. Right, so this having almost no health left um, left from the previous episode is making things a bit difficult. Oh, thank goodness for that. That does lend some credence to my... Um, suspicion that the the boxes have different things in depending on how much health you've got so because I was basically dead that was had Freeman, right? nearly shot him as well I got a message for you make sure you don't what the I saw a vorticorn but that was a gunshot having played the original Half-Life, I have my suspicions about what's coming up.
I think this is where I encounter the Special Forces Assassins. That's why it's much too quiet. Yes, there they are. They're not quite as stealthy as I remember them being. But they do appear to be dangerous and tactical. And somehow able to get up on that roof. Did anyone see how many of them there were earlier? I definitely saw two, but then I've shot two and I thought I... I don't know, I had a feeling I saw a third. I'm feeling very paranoid. Okay, I think I'm probably safe. Emphasis on probably. Oh, okay, if I got one down here and two up there, then yes, I think I think that's all of them. No, I'm. Oh, oh no, okay, I do get some ammunition from them. Hey, come on, they were firing faster than pistols. Can I take this? To be honest, even if I did, I wouldn't be able to get out with it. Okay, let's have a look in the boxes. No suit power though. Ooh, grenades. I should um apparently I should be using my um submachine gun grenades more because they're giving me more than I'm they give giving me uh, replacements for ones that I haven't used. But to be honest, those assassins didn't stand still long enough for me to lob a grenade at them. Or I'd have been perfectly happy to after normal grenades. Um But yeah, they were just too mobile, so the machine gun was the the obvious way to deal with them. Okay, onwards. Let's hope, hopefully I won't run into an, any more of them for a little while. Is that a dead end? Yes it is. This appears to be an it's quiet, too quiet again. Is that the same hangar? Yes. Is this whole area just a sort of a playground for those assassins to taunt me in? How do I get out? Um. <laughs> there wasn't anywhere else to go through here, was there? So close blast door there and there. Close this one. That's not particularly helpful because it's closed. Aha! Dead health machine. Not that I actually need health at the moment. This is just a small storage room. There's nothing in here apart from a little bit of ammunition for guns I haven't been using. Unless there is something down here. Nope.
What on earth do I go next? Can I get up there? Can I jump across there? Maybe that's it. That makes a certain sense, I suppose. The way out is something you can't very easily do while you're being shot at by some trained assassins. Especially if they seem to lurk up here. Oh, <laughs> and there's a staircase up. Oh. I'm not very good at searching, turns out. What's that opened? Presumably one of the doors down the bottom somewhere. Ah, that one. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh good, I'm sort of glad that truck's there, because I wasn't 100% sure I hadn't just gone the same way I'd already explored before. <laughs> this looks like a trap. Yeah, okay, that was a trap. <laughs> nice hit. That's the guy? Yeah. We got him. Alright, come on, give me a head here. Jesus, this guy is heavy. I mean, is it any better that because I could, uh, that I called it? Where are we taking this Freeman guy? Top side, requesting. What the hell for? We got him. Why not just kill him now? Uh, and just uh, find the body? Hey, what body? <laughs> Is it any more acceptable to go walk into a trap if you lampshade it first and say, hey, look, it's a trap? Is this a garbage compactor? Yes, this is um, straight out of Star Wars. <laughs> at least there's a ladder at the end of it for you to for you to run up just in case. Well, if you're lucky enough to not be playing a Source engine game. Um, okay, I've come up the wrong side. What's that? Hmm. Thought I heard something. <laughs> Hooray! It's my crowbar. Now I can... I don't know. Open boxes again. So, oh, these presumably got attacked by this um, head crab zombie, and then they just dumped the bodies in here for to deal with later, shall we say? Now, presumably, there's something I need to use the crowbar to open in order to get out of here. What's in here? There isn't, though. Come on. Oh, for. <laughs> I don't see anything openable down. Oh. Apparently, I'm checking it out anyway. I'm expecting there to be an air duct because that's traditional. I'm expecting to have trouble with the ladders because that's also traditional. Bloody hell. I don't see one on that side, so let's go up here. Can't open those doors, even with a crowbar. Even if I go for the air duct looking part of it. Um, hmm. Am I missing something glaringly obvious here? I probably am. Um. 
Let's go and have another look in that room because it's the only place I've... That's not an air duct, that's a light. None. Oh, there was a lever. Okay. There's the way out. Down the bottomless pit. And here's me armed with just a crowbar. Oh well. Beats waiting up there for the soldiers to come back, I suppose. Wow, my frame rate is dropping from this. You'd think a. Uh, what have I got? GTX 980? We'll be able to deal with an 8 year old game that's a remake of a 20 year old game. But apparently not. Oh, my God. oh it's just a head crab. That's alright. I can deal with those. <laughs> Even with just a crowbar. Ow. Mostly deal with them, anyway. Come on then. Oh. Reactions are slightly too slow. I don't think that's just the beer, I think that's just my reactions. <laughs> or let's blame the swing time on the crowbar. Let's do that. That way it's not my fault. <laughs> Ooh, a petty kit. Now I feel better. Is there anything else out here? Another medikit, perhaps? Nope. Just somewhere to overlook the rest of the area. That's a good safety feature. Empty the water tower before opening the, the hatch on the side of it. Can I have my guns back, please? Hmm, that sort of switch... I should know by now that that sort of switch isn't actually a switch. Even though it's the right colour and it sort of generally looks like one. Where's the third one? There it is. Hey Barney, come back. That's not the same Barney. Yeah, okay, that um, security guard got eaten by the uh, barnacle. It's a bit of a shame, after I went to all that effort of heroically leaping down in, in an attempt to rescue him. What have we got here? Okay, we have gas coming through from there, up there, which is blatantly on fire and going to toast me if I go up there. So obviously I have to go this way <laughs> and try and find somewhere to turn that gas off. Unfortunately, the um, zombies come here, come through here pre-cooked. Did that get me? It did. Damn it! I tried to get round it, but no. Yeah, have this. I haven't got a gun to make it to set it off though. Maybe it'll bite it hard enough to. No. <laughs> Maybe not. What about one of these? How do you feel about this? Nope, <laughs> not that one either. Alright. Let's turn the gas off. That, yep, that stopped all the fire. That was handy. But, yeah, I really need some guns to start getting rid of these. Um, oh, how handy. And I really need a lot more ammunition before I'm ready to start using it on the um, on the barnacles.
is this the way? This looks like this is the way to go. In that case, I'm going to go back and have a look and see what was up that ladder. Whoop, <laughs> nearly. Because I strongly believe in exploring these places as much as possible because you never know what useful pickups you're going to find. Especially when you're basically unarmed. Well, nearly unarmed. And I'm desperately looking for a better weapon. Is that what? I can't jump on anything here and climb out. Okay. Now I'm a bit puzzled because both of these directions feel like the way. Power 15%. However, I won't say no to a bit of shield. Was this where I was being brought by the other? Okay, so presumably I want to try and get out over there, but I clearly can't. Is this another jump from piston to piston type thing? I think it might be. Let's go down here and have a quick look around just in case I don't fall off. I know based on my previous jumping puzzle, ability demonstrations and whatnot. <laughs> I'm probably going to fall in a good few times. Oh, is this the other way through where I might have come? No, maybe not. Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's stop poking around looking for extra ways to go and just assume that somehow that other path could brought me here. Right. Ah, no, that was bad. <laughs> Jump on them as they're coming up, Lawrence, not as they're going down. Because, see, they go into... Yes, they go into the goo. <laughs> and then they squish you against the ceiling. Right. <laughs> um... Okay, let's go this way this time, because there was... Well, because I'm curious, mostly. Is this just a way around that barnacle? Was that the other way? Just a way around that barnacle and these head crabs. Where are they? Stupid things. Ow. Minor lacerations detected. Well, apparently, I'm just as stupid. Okay, this way might be a bit more dangerous, but it comes with a lot more um, health. Well, armour. Oh, no, this is a dead end. <gasps> okay. Alright, back we go. There wasn't anything around here, was there? No, just a locked door. I suppose I probably should have guessed because the other way was the way that required you to have solved the, the puzzle of turning off the gas. Now, okay, it's not the, not the greatest and most difficult of puzzles, but it's still a, um, a thing that needed to be done. So now that I've done it, I can go up here. Was that, no, it was somewhere else. I was thinking of.
Right, I'm going to quick save this time because, well, <laughs> we've seen what I'm like at these sort of things. Come on, jump. Oh, there we go. Right, so from here, I guess I have to go onto that pipe on the opposite side. Oh, I didn't jump very well. I'm going to basically abuse the quick save here. Um, because I'm impatient and I want to save time, essentially. Oh, oh, that one didn't drop me in the in the goo. That's surprising. Phew. Right. Okay. That was that um, platformy bit over. And. I hear a zombie. I think it's right underneath. Yes, there it is. Let's deal with that. There we go. And back up here. And I think this is a good time to call it an episode. It's been about half an hour. Most uh, There's been a, only a little bit of screwing around in that. <laughs> um, and those that... Um, yeah, but we've had a couple of interesting bits in there. There's been those um, assassins that I... Who actually weren't too bad in the end. Um, I was able to take them out without too much loss of health. And then Joy of Joy is another jumping puzzle. But, um, yeah, I think that was uh, reasonably good. I, I did die a few times, admittedly, but uh, most of that was because I left myself with almost no health after the last episode. So, let's see what the next one brings. As ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Woo! That was um, <laughs> a bit of a surprise. Um, I guess, no, I'm not going in there. Okay, well I guess that's um, a little bit of post-credits excitement for everyone. <laughs> this time, I really am going to end it and uh, see you. See you in the next one.